It is actually unfair. This, despite me having quite thin lips, it is a constant struggle to keep them hydrated and smooth. Of course, that gives me the opportunity to thoroughly test things like the Florasis Ginseng Care Lip Balm and the Florasis Floral Care Hydrating Dual Lip Oil. But when the combination of central heating and tretinoin leads to my pout feeling like it was sandpaper, that doesn't really comfort me much. Complaining aside, how did the two work for me? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. The Florasis Ginseng Care Lip Balm is actually called a lip gel mask in the description of the website and claims to moisturize without greasiness, while the Hydrating Dual Lip Oil is called an Essence and claims to instantly hydrate while giving mirror-like shine. The balm smells of roses and feels thick when you scoop it out, but spreads very well when it's in contact with the warmth of your skin. The Dual Lip Oil has no real scent, but kind of a sweet taste after application. Obviously, you're not supposed to eat it, but you'll taste it when you apply it. When you look at the lip oil, you see that it is a bilayer product with a thicker yellow oily layer on top and a see-through layer containing the humectants at the bottom. Before you use it, you need to shake it up so it mixes. There are metal spheres at the bottom to help with that. And then swipe it on with the dough food applicator. It really doesn't feel like I expected the lip oil to feel. It is the first one I tried. But in terms of skincare products, more like a toner with a little more body than expected in Essence, for example. Once you swipe it on, it absorbs quickly and leaves the lips feeling hydrated, but not greasy. I didn't find the finish to be mirror-like shine, which I actually appreciate, or even very glossy. When applied on bare lips, it made them look well hydrated. On top of a matte lipstick, it makes it look natural. And on top of an already shiny lip product, I didn't see much of a difference at all. My preferred way, though, was using it before lipstick, as it really gives you a smooth surface to apply to. And as it absorbs so quickly, it won't affect lipstick lasting power. Depending on how thick of a layer of the balm you apply, you can either use it thinly to moisturize your lips before lipstick to help it go on more smoothly, or as a thicker layer like an overnight lip mask. And when I say thinly, I really mean the tiniest amount. A little goes a long way here. And if you actually scoop it out with the spatula, you will end up with quite a thick layer. What I didn't enjoy too much is the slightly tingly feeling I got maybe 30 seconds after application. The explanation for the tingling is that the formula contains menthol, which is often perceived as cooling. Other than that, there are a bunch of different oils and waxes, plant extracts that are used in traditional Chinese medicine, and emollients often used in lip balms for extra shine and a protective feeling. The humectants in the clear phase of the oil are glycerin and hyaluronic acid, and then there are a variety of different oils like jojoba, macadamia, coconut, and more for the oil part, so nothing outstanding there. While I enjoy the texture, the packaging, and the effect the Floral Ginseng Lip Care Balm has on my lips, a thick layer really brings my pouch pout back to life overnight, I wish they had foregone the menthol. I am just not a fan of that cooling, tingly sensation, especially not in winter. The Florasis Flora Care Hydrating Dual Lip Oil is the first lip oil I've tried, so I can't compare it to others. It is way less oily than I expected and works beautiful both on bare lips and underneath a lipstick. The finish isn't as shiny as advertised, which I personally really like, but makes the lips look well hydrated and glossy. If there is anything you'd like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!